In the previous lectures, we have created an animation here and created a motion path for the camera. Also adjusted the motion path to get this kind of curve, this smooth curve, to get this kind of animation that you can see in the active camera here. Now, it is a bit tedious to use always this uh, motion path, Bezier, and mainly these ones are very unstable and can change drastically the animation. There is a better way to do that. Let's look at it. First of all, I'm going to pull off this camera, create a new camera, just to make you give you a fresh example. And we can take the 35 millimeters here is OK. And this is my camera. Fine. What I will do now, I come to layer and new null object. Now My null object is in 2D. I will make it 3D. I will open parent and parent the camera to the null object. Now, everything that happens to the null object will happen to the camera. Important points to look at. Let's open the position. And in the camera 2, the new camera will open position and point of interest. Do you notice that the point of interest is set at 0? It means there is no offset between it and the anchor point of the null. They are the same. If you open the anchor point here, the anchor point is at 0 and the point of interest is at zero. This is very important. If there is any offset here, this movement now will change. It will not work smoothly. It will have some variation. Yet you can have the variations if you really want them. So what I will do here is to open the rotation of the null object, keyframe the Y rotation. I want to work with the Y rotation. Make it, for example, minus 45, and then move it this way to two seconds and make it 45. So by using the Y rotation here and the null object and the parenting, in fact, we have created the same animation without having to deal with a motion path and the Bezier and the handles and so on. Now, why this example? Camera and null are like, say, brother and sisters. They always go together. Now, also the rotation here is really rotating the null on itself. And that's very powerful. The camera rotation here was moving the camera back left and right, and also, you know, changing the Z or moving the camera in space. So now this is one way to do it. I'm going to do it another way. I will also, I will delete the null and I will delete the camera too. I'll create a new camera and that's the easier way. That's what you want to use. And a 35 millimeter will do well. Now I will choose the camera, go to layer, camera, and say create orbit null. Here you are. Actually, what happened? We opened the position and anchor point of null. We open the point of interest of the camera too. And if you want, you can open position. You notice that there is also no offset. So this is what After Effects did. It is a small script, but it's very helpful because there is a lot of use of camera and null parented together. Of course, there is no animation yet in 3D. I'm going to create the animation now. I will open rotation. Same, same at the beginning. I will keyframe rotation to minus 45. Go, we said two seconds, something like this and keyframe the rotation at 45. You can see that the same animation has been created in a much easier way. The most important is to watch the point of interest, make sure it's 0, 0, and uh, the anchor point of the null also would be 0, 0, 0. The camera is not moving, and it's a child, so I can give it you know, more animations. Let's open the camera here, keyframe the position at the beginning, for example, and move it a bit forward to do two seconds. And let's use the axis here, the Z axis, and move the camera in. This is a very smooth animation, combining null with camera, and also having to work with the position of the camera to create more animations using parent and child. I hope this was beneficial for you. Please use that method. In the next lecture, I want to discuss the rotation of the camera and how it rotates on itself and how to move the center of the axis of the camera. See you then.